Hello my soccer universe and welcome to the 22-23 Champions League jersey review. Yes, you have chosen the next jersey review that I should do is the Champions League jersey review. And I think I have not done one last season due to time constraints and this time it's also a little bit delayed thanks to the World Cup and then a little bit of a sickness of mine and we have it delayed. However, I usually have done it in eight parts, you know, one for each group, but I have decided, you know, I do a lot of double duty there and most of the teams in the Champions League, I've already talked about their jerseys. So what I'm going to do is I actually want to do it also within four videos and I group two groups always together, A, B, C, D, uh, E, F and G, H. And then I will just not really skip. I will show you the jerseys of the teams that I've already, or the jerseys that I've already talked about. But I will just mention the grade and refer you to the original video for the league-specific review because I've already done uh, reviews for six whole leagues. But then I will talk about all the other jerseys that have that we have not seen yet or that have been dedicated European jerseys for that particular team. If it's a team that we have not been talking about because they're not one of the six leagues we have done uh, reviews, which uh, is, of course, uh, England, uh, Spain, Germany, Italy, France and Austria, then we look at the entire set that has been released and I point out some differences for Europe as well. But other than that, I'm just going to go group by group and basically team by team uh, in an alphabetical order as well. And so, in this particular video, we are looking at the favorites, Manchester City, we have Sevilla, we have Dortmund, we have Copenhagen, we have PSG, who I'm wearing, we have Juve, we have Benfica, and we have Maccabi Haifa. And we will start in Group G at the smallest team in Copenhagen, who have a classic Adidas home jersey with pinstripes. I gotta say the pinstripes are the thing that put this jersey uh, from a regular jersey into something rather special looking, I gotta say. I really do enjoy myself a good pinstripes with Adidas, cannot go wrong. Everything looks almost as expected. I'm gonna give this seven, seven stars. The away jersey is a classic black and blue affair, also typically for Copenhagen uh, a little bit. Um, not as classy to me as the pinstrap jersey, but also still a rather, rather strong look. So let's stay with the seven star uh, streak here. It is Adidas. It is simple. It is effective. Really cannot complain uh, there. And then we have the third jersey in pink. Yeah, pink for pink six. This is the new pink is the new black. All the teams now need to put out sometimes a pink jersey. It's a very luminescent pink. I know some collectors that would definitely love that one. I'm a little bit, yeah, hmm, yeah, I don't know. It's not quite my style, but I think it's not It's not too bad of a jersey either. Gonna give it, yeah, let's give it five stars. Let's get out of, Cop of Denmark and let's go back to Dortmund. Dortmund have a cup home jersey, which of course is also used in the Champions League which is a new interpretation of the 89 uh was it i think it's the 89 uh cup winning jersey german cup winning jersey which of course was the famous adidas template that germany used in the world cup but only on the wings where they had exactly a black white black and then on a yellow jersey uh, of course puma cannot really do that um and so they come up with something weird and I think this is where I want to leave it. It's something weird. It just, it quite doesn't do it, huh? Or do you, or do you think this is uh, anything special? I, I find it rather odd looking, but the cup jerseys for Dortmund have always been a little bit home, uh, uh, a little bit weird looking. Um, cannot bring myself to give this more than five stars. I think it's a rather odd jer uh, jersey. In the Bundesliga jersey review, I also gave the away jersey five stars. Um, doesn't do much to me. Then they have, of course, issued another black jersey. Why do we need another one? We had one. We don't need necessarily another one. I don't get it. Of course, it looks special, but really a second one? For that reason, you know, it is just capitalizing on a trend that Dortmund started. Leave it. Literally 
leave it. Not gonna say much more than that. And I'm gonna give this also a five star. Um, I don't wanna commit <laughs> to either side of the debate here. I just don't get blackout jerseys, to be honest. The Premier League jersey review, you of course will also find my review of the Manchester City home shirt. Many love it. I'm not so sold on it, so I'm gonna give this a six. I actually like the away jersey better with eight. And then this one is just horrific. I uh, gave this one star, it's one of the worst churches this season, if you were to ask me. Also, La Liga churches for Sevilla. It's such a missed chance because there are so many nice things on this home jersey, but it's only a six stars. Uh, same goes for the away jersey, although I think it, it looks a little bit better. I gave it an eight star. And then that one, also many nice things, but again, missed chance, six stars. I am sorry, I would have loved to give more. Let's go to, uh, mo at the moment, Portugal's finest, Benfica. Again, an Adidas team. And about as classy, classic and classy Adidas as you can get. It's a simple red jersey with a white collar. And that's all I need for Benfica. I like the sleeve because then on top there's this slight shadow pinstripe effect in there. And you have an absolute winner. I cannot fault this jersey. This is so Benfica. Yes, maybe a big fl uh, floppy collar would look even better. But other than that, if I was to um, um, design a Befica home shirt, that's how I would do it. No, I would go with the with the floppy collar, but that's how I, I, I would do it. I really like the, the this one. I'm gonna give this eight stars despite it just being very, very simple. The V jersey has a very interesting pattern on there. Uh, not sure about, but I actually do enjoy yellow as an away color for Benfica. I just wish maybe the crest could have used a little bit more color. I think that would uh, do it a little bit well. It looks, the eagle almost looks a little bit Nazi style up there. I'm sorry to say, uh, which is probably something I shouldn't say. Also, I don't know what is the, what is the pattern. There's usually the bicycle. There, there, there is something odd with the crest going on. Don't ne 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 necessarily like that. It's an average jersey, but um, you know, I like the colors, I like the pattern in there. So I'm gonna go six stars here. Uh, and then I have to say this uh, third jersey does something. I don't like gray, but I think uh, on a white base, having this gray and then especially the way the color and then a little bit red in there and a full colored crest. I gotta say this one is a looker for me. That's one that I actually typically enjoy. And out of those four, if I had to pick up, because I have already a home, home jersey, I probably would pick even this one. This is really not a bad shirt. Uh, do enjoy that one quite a bit. I'm gonna go also, um, I'm gonna go nine star with this one. I, 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 I really enjoy this, uh, the, this jersey, although it's just a very simple template, but it's effectively applied. And what more can you ask for? Serie A jersey review, you see Juve, who have an interesting home jersey, six stars though. Uh, the away jersey is something special, but also black jersey for Juve also works, and then they have a horrific third jersey, two stars for that one. Then the last one that we have a full review on is of course Maccabi Haifa. Uh, and brace yourselves, this is almost Nap Naples style. They, all the variations that they have to, they play usually in green and white. What were Nike thinking with this template? This is awful. This is this is one of the worst green and white jerseys I've seen. And even when you look at it in play, it doesn't get better. It's an awful shirt in every regard. Uh, too many things going on. It's a one star. I really, really hate this one. Uh, when I saw the one, it just doesn't make any sense. The away jersey, gray with black sleeves on a really weird template. I mean, uh, give it some credit. They, they could have uh, put a white here around the collar, but you know, green is one of your club's colors. Uh, give me at least somewhere green, at least give me a full color, color, color gray, so make gray with green sleeves or something like that. Nah, nah, three stars. You're not gonna win any favors from me here. However, they are also nice Maccabi uh, Haifa kids and this one here, yes, simple template, but do you see the green, the Volvo and the full color crest suddenly looks a whole lot better because on the white it really pairs off nicely. Again, 
green sleeves would have looked probably even a little bit better. But this one actually is quite nice. I'm gonna give this a six despite it being so templatey. Uh, but you know, I also like this all black jersey. Yes, we also need an all black jersey uh, here, here, here and there. As I said, all of these suddenly did not work, for instance, against Juventus. All of these that I showed you and that have, have, have been used, you know, but you know, the black one, I think that was the one used, uh, the dedicated black away jersey for the Champions League. It's black, has some interesting uh, sleeves and it has a full color crest. It's nothing exciting, but it's also not bad. So 5-1 uh, for that. How about we save worst for last and that's the one that had, they had to use at Juve away. Positives. I think the colors, they're onto something here and all centralized. I think it all, this all looks good. But what about those sleeves? What is Nike thinking here? This is, this is just awful as awful can be. And we have seen this with Montpellier as well. Not as bad as the home jersey. I really like, like, like a color, but this goes also more in the three pile than anything else. But the color actually saves it. So I'm going to give this four. Um, as I said, Maccabi, Haifa, they are telling their own story this season with so many different shirts and it should be so easy. But you know, you had to issue a total of five shirts and most of them are templates and only one is really good. I think they should have used the template for home jersey also for this fifth jersey, <laughs> if you would like. We'll end it at the team that I'm wearing, PSG. However, we have covered PSG uh, extensively in the league uh, jersey review, so only very quickly. The home jersey, six stars. Yeah, I see what they want to do, but uh, nah. Uh, I don't like the away jersey in gray and black. Don't understand why PSG needs to do the three stars. And then we have a seven star jersey. I think this one looks really, really nice, especially the royal blue. And then we end it with the new fourth jersey. I see what they want to do for fourth jersey, okay. It's, I think it's overall an appealing jer jer jersey, but for me there's a chance missed to not putting a map on there. Seven stars. And that is it. All the Champions League jerseys for this season reviewed. Please let me know which jerseys in this video do, did you like. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And please let me know which league shall we go next. Up until then, I'll surely will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the little bell icon so to get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!